In this tutorial we're going to learn how to use the eraser tool. Although it seems simple, the eraser tool does more than actually just erase. So what we need to do is just create a few shapes that we can use to test the eraser tool on. So first get the rectangle tool and draw a nice big rectangle. Then get the circle tool and draw a circle just beside it. So click and drag that out and just to the side of that draw another circle. Then go back to the select tool. Now what I want you to do is right click on one of the edges of the circle and explode the curve. And what I'm showing you here is that we've now broken that circle up into lots of different little pieces. And if we click on the other edge of the circle you can see it's one nice piece. It's one continuous curve. Next go into the isometric view using the standard views and we're going to get the push pull tool and push pull up the first box. Go over to the next circle, double click on the cylinder and then go over to the other circle and double click on it and you can see the broken curve has now created multiple segments. Okay, whereas the unbroken curve has created one continuous face. So from time to time you're going to come across broken segments and I'm going to teach you what you can do with the eraser tool to overcome such issues. So the first feature of the eraser tool is of course erase. So I can click on a corner and you can see there that it's now deleted. If I just undo that um, I'll just take you through it a little bit slower. If I was to click on an edge, it takes away the edge. If I click on a corner, naturally it picks up both edges. If I was to left click and hold my mouse button down, I can drag over multiple edges. And it just leaves a few lines behind that we can tidy up. With a cylinder like this, you can see that we have um, the continuous curve at the top and the bottom. So if I click on the top, it takes away the whole curve because it's joined, it's continuous. And again, at the bottom, it will just disappear. Over here, however, now that we've broken up that continuous curve, if I was to click on a, one of the lines vertically in the segment, it actually takes it away because it's it's an actual structural piece to that cylinder. So to overcome that what I can do is I can hold shift on my keyboard and I can click on the lines and hide the lines. So shift equals hide. So I can just work my way around and hide. The only problem with shift in arrays is if I go back to the select tool is that it leaves individual surfaces still which is not ideal I want to try and bring it back to that that continuous curve method so what I need to do is just undo using the undo, undo tool um, back to where we were then what we need to do is get the eraser tool hold control instead of shift this time, so control equals soft and smooth and then I can click on the segments. So I'm just holding control then holding my left mouse button down and dragging it over the edges and it's now softening and smoothing those, that, those segments into one surface. So if I click on that surface it's now a continuous surface again. So just to recap what we can do is with the eraser tool holding no buttons on our keyboard we can just simply erase objects um, if you left click and hold your mouse, mouse button down you can drag over top of the edges continuously and then release your mouse button to erase then if you hold shift and erase you can hide lines which can be handy if you just want to uh, quickly fudge something if you <laughs> don't quite have enough time or you can soften and smooth using the control key on your keyboard 
and you can then soften and smooth the segments to create a single smooth surface. Uh, the MAC keys for um, for soften and smooth and hiding a line are slightly different and um, just refer to the SketchUp quick reference card.